you probably think that the big clubs of Europe have the best academies, right? Sure, with their deep pockets and state-of-the-art facilities, one would think so. Now, that might be true in some way, but let us tell you something. There really is something special about smaller clubs' academies, especially in Scandinavian countries. Think about it, this region has gifted us legends like Solskjaer, Zlatan, and now the unstoppable forces of Haaland and Odegaard. So, you know what? We're diving into the heart of Sweden to spotlight a young prodigy who's already causing a stir. A 17-year-old player who's being linked with moves to European giants like Inter Milan and Barcelona. But here's a curveball. We believe his true calling lies at Manchester United, poised to step into Bruno's shoes. Intrigued? Smash that like button, hit subscribe and ring that bell, because you're about to meet the awe-inspiring Lucas Bergvall. Have you ever heard of IF Bromopojkana Football Club? Probably not, and that's understandable given that they are a modest club that spent their recent years bouncing between the third and second tiers of Swedish football. But leaning closer and you'll uncover something astonishing. They run one of Europe's most vibrant and extensive youth academies. Imagine this, over 4,000 youngsters spanning hundreds of teams from age under six and up. Need proof of their talent factory? Look no further than Sporting's Dynamo Giacheres and Tottenham's Maestro Kulisevsky. Quality players, right? But hold on. What if I told you that Lucas Bergvall is being celebrated as the crown jewel of BP's academy? Born on February the 2nd, 2006, Bergvall has been shining bright on Sweden's football horizon. His rise to fame, it traces back to stellar performances in tournaments like the Madrid Football Club in 2019, where he clinched the MVP title. That's where the Bergvall buzz really kicked off. He burst onto the senior scene at just 15 years of age in 2022, playing in Sweden's second division. Despite joining mid-season, he became a pivotal force in his team's climb to the Allsvenskan. But before the 2023 campaign could unfurl, Djurgard and IF, 12-time Swedish champions, snapped him up for a hefty 900,000 euros, plus potential future bonuses. At DIF, Bergvall's playtime was strategically managed. He featured in almost all of their league games, averaging 39 minutes each. His maiden top-flight season unfolded in stages. Initially a regular sub, then a streak of six consecutive starts in summer, back to a sub, and finally ending with a bang. Five full 90-minute games to wrap up the season. Notably, Bergvall's debut season stats are unparalleled for his age in Sweden. His 974 minutes and 11 starts set a record. He was the sole player born in 2006 to not only start, but also score in the Allsvenskan. His game time eclipsed that of his closest peer by nearly tenfold. This season was a beacon of promise, igniting excitement for what lies ahead, and the buzz doesn't stop there. Whispers are swirling that his first season in the Allsvenskan might also be his last, with several clubs eyeing him for a winter transfer. So what makes Bergvall such a hot commodity? What's got the top European clubs lining up for him? Let's dive into his attributes and style of play. Bergvall shines as a right-sided central midfielder in Jurgarden's 4-3-3 formation, playing to his strong right foot and adeptly navigating various spaces. Standing at an impressive 1.87 metres, he's quite the presence on the field. Whilst he may not be a physical powerhouse like Bellingham, he's still growing and has the potential to strengthen further in the rigours of top-tier football. Remember, he's just a teenager. In terms of athleticism, Bergvall is a standout. He ranks high among the Allsvenskan midfielders for both speed and intensity. His stats are telling, reaching top speeds of around 27.5 km an hour and covering over 800 meters at high intensity for 90 minutes. This showcases his remarkable endurance and fleet-footedness, crucial for midfield dominance. On the field, Bergvall's movement is a sight to behold. He possesses graceful fluidity, especially with the ball at his feet. He smoothly transitions through different paces, but can burst into speed to cover defensive grounds when needed. His ability to change direction swiftly is remarkable, and despite his tall stature, there's no hint of clumsiness in his steps. Picture a midfielder who can dribble with the elegance of a gazelle. That's Bergvall for you. But let's not lose sight of the most striking fact, he's only 17. To be performing at such a high level in a top-flight league at his age is not just impressive, 
It's thrilling, especially considering he still has room to grow physically and athletically. The potential for him to evolve into a Premier League powerhouse is palpable. Bergvall's connections to clubs like Barcelona might stem from his adept handling of the right-sided eight role in Jurgarden's 4-3-3. His standout quality, patience and composure. He allows the game to unfold naturally, resisting the urge to overextend in search of the ball. His maturity in understanding and executing his role defies his years. Technically, Bergvall checks all the boxes for a midfielder of his position and potential. His quick grasp of spatial dynamics, pitch side awareness and precise touches set him apart. He's comfortable with the ball on either side and even when receiving it on the back foot. His passing is another high point, sharp, controlled and adept at connecting play across the field. He excels at delivering line-breaking passes that effectively advance the game, showcasing a skill set that's well beyond his years. You're probably seeing the term press resilient lately. Well, it's a buzzword in modern football analysis, and it's a critical skill for players aspiring to the highest levels of the game. So, how does Bergvall handle pressure? He navigates it with a blend of awareness, composure, technical skill and athleticism. He's adept at evading tight situations with the ball, demonstrating a mix of alertness and smooth control that's essential for top-flight football. As for goal scoring, Bergvall isn't the type to emulate Bellingham's box-crashing style or replicate Bruno Fernandes' volume shooting approach. Instead, he excels in a more nuanced role. He supports the attack from a deeper position, often joining as a part of the second wave. He has a knack for capitalising on pullbacks and loose balls, a skill that, when mastered, can be a prolific source of goals. Why do we see him as a potential successor to Fernandes at United? It's not that Bergvall mirrors Bruno's style. In fact, he brings a different midfield dynamic to the table. Bruno is best suited for the number 10 position, a role that is slowly fading in the modern game. He's more about that final pass or lethal strike. Don't get us wrong, Bruno's work rate is right up there with the elite and his creative numbers are in a league of their own. However, Bergvall brings that sense of control and dominant aura in the midfield and perhaps that's exactly what United needs. A fresh approach, a new kind of midfield maestro who can redefine the team's play style whilst maintaining its effectiveness and flair. In addition to this, there's an important factor to consider. Bruno, now 29, has been a constant fixture in United's lineup for the last three seasons. His Premier League stats are telling. He's 10th in total minutes played and would rank even higher without that suspension mandated absence. But time spares no one, not even the best. The combination of age and extensive playtime will inevitably impact his performance, whether it's a year from now or later. Enter Bergvall. If he joins United this window or next summer, he'll be stepping into a transformative environment. With United's current state and potential new leadership, the pressure isn't as suffocating as it once was. This atmosphere could be the perfect nurturing ground for Bergvall. Add to that United's lack of depth in the number eight position. If you look at it, the club really doesn't have a natural central midfielder. Bruno, Eriksson and Mount are all best suited to more advanced positions. Only Kobe Mainu, who's also a teenager, can be considered as a natural eight. Now, don't get us wrong, predicting the trajectory of a young player in their breakthrough season is always a gamble. Factors like club environment and personal mindset play a huge role. But from what we've seen, Bergvall has the makings of a top tier player. That's why we believe he'd fit well at Manchester United. But what's more important than our opinion is yours. What do you think? Should Bergvall make the jump to a major club now? Or would a transitional period in a league like the Eredivisie benefit him more? Drop your opinions in the comments. And don't forget, smash that like button and subscribe for more insightful football content.